Welcome to this new Flux tutorial. Today I want to show you a quick workflow how you can use Flux on smaller GPUs with not so much VRAM. So we are using the NF4 model, which is a special Flux version, which is optimized for smaller GPUs. We need some special notes for this. I also will show you how you use this model with a control net. We need the X Flux Comfy UI custom add-on as well as some special models. I will link everything as always in the description below and we will create a Flux NF4 based control net workflow which uses the Kenny control net and will give you nice results. This workflow is similar to the workflow from last video, but since there are quite a few nodes different, I will do this workflow from scratch today. So let's start right in clearing the canvas. So let's start from scratch. Let's start by creating the Xlabs sampler. I like to put the CFG to one the true GS to 3.5. Steps can be 25. Randomize, that should be fine. Let's create the decode and the save image node. And then start with the control net conditioning. Choose the apply flux control net. We choose this to 0 0.8, the strength, and load our special flux control net. It's from the Xlabs page. They have different control nets, so be sure to check them out and try different control nets. We choose to use the flux dev model, and then we choose our image. Let's choose this one. The creation of the Kenny image we have to do with the Kenny Edge node. This is actually controlling the generation of the edges we need to fill in into the control net node. So since we are creating 1024, 2024 image, I choose 1024 here as well. We keep the other values and we now can fill this into our control net, apply a flux control net. So then let's load our prompt. We choose a special text encode optimized for flux. And we duplicate it. I put the guidance to four. Play around with those values, what fits best for you. I choose at the prompt castle on a snowy mountain. Copy that. Keep the negative prompt empty. And this has to be connected to the dual clip loader as we used in the previous tutorial. We choose clip name one is a clip L and as a second clip, we choose FB16 and we choose flux as a type. Then we need a empty latent image 1024, 1024. We use the checkpoint loader NF4. We choose our NF4 model here. Let's choose the dev BNB NF4 and connect the model to the Xlab sampler. If you want to use a normal dev, a normal flux model, you simply can load it with load diffusion model, for example, and then connect this to the sampler. But now we are working with the NF4 model. So let's check. Um, we are missing the VAE. We are using the special VAE from Flux. And that should be it. Uh, let's give this a try. 
Okay, here we go. There's our generated castle. Yeah, and that should be it. That should get you started with NF4 and ControlNet. Check out the Xlabs Hugging Face page. There's lots to discover for Flux. I will put all the links in the description and how you install Flux and the NF4 especially. I will upload this workflow to my Patreon. Be sure to have a visit to my Patreon page. More Flux tutorials will come soon. So stay tuned. See you soon. Bye bye.